with the Super LS product, this is geared toward better players, higher swing speeds, it's tour inspired, uh, it features the same velocity slot technology where it's cut through on the bottom uh, with a refined crown slot on top. One thing that this has is multi-material construction. One of the key aspects of this design was where we were looking for a low center gravity hybrid. What, that was, what, what, what that's going to do is going to increase the launch angle without affecting the spin rate. Uh, this is a lower, lower spinning product than the Super S. With that multi-material construction, we have a tie face with a tie crown braced to a stainless steel sole. And that just allows us to lower that center of gravity even further than what we're able to do with just a standard stainless steel hybrid. Also, with the LS Hybrid, it's an upside down techno or technology where the sole is actually a little bit larger than the crown and it just promotes a lower center of gravity. With the Super S product, we have a little bit more camber from heel to toe that makes it more playable out of different lies. It's a little bit more forgiving for that up to gut golf golfer that uh, we're targeting. Well, we have more loss in the Super S product by one. We offer a one hybrid at 15 degrees all the way down to a six hybrid, which is 28 degrees. Uh, with the LS, we offer a one hybrid in 15 degrees and go all the way to the five hybrid. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of tour players are playing the tour version, but one interesting story is Robert Garrigus was trying out, doing our Easy Million campaign, and he was trying out the Super LS product. And what happened was, was that, uh, you know, he was hitting the Super LS product too far uh, to fit in with the rest of his, uh, his bag. So what he had to do, he actually had to downgrade a bit and go with the Super S hybrid. And you know, with the shorter shaft length in the Super S versus the LS, he was able to uh, dial in his uh, distance with his hybrid as a result.